What's up everybody? Thank you for joining me. Here we go. Time for an adventure. Time for some fun. What am I doing today? Let's see on this episode of this Adventures Channel. Well guys, here we are. Second day of the year, 2024. Another mod. This one's going in professionally though. Didn't want to deal with it in this cold weather. So, show you what we're doing. And then, let's see if I can do some videoing of it while they're installing it. See you soon. All right guys, here's the place. It's called High Class Auto Sound and Security. A friend of mine got their remote car starter here. Did an amazing job city here and a little you know area in Bridgeport so just waiting on uh, them to open and we'll be here all right here we go we're inside I'm trying to figure things out looking at the um, Interior. I think we're gonna mount it probably right here. Um, this does come with a mount that's like that, but it's not gonna mount there. So we're gonna do it here probably mounting down. So that's it. We'll let them do their work. All right, guys. Sorry about that. The video is gonna be very um, loud in the background, so I decided to voice over um, what's happening. Um, you might hear me in the background as well, but this is what's going on. He's actually um, just doing, put the mirror onto the, um, my rear view mirror, it actually comes on in his little clips. Um, he wrapped it on there already. Now he's running the wires from the mirror. Um, he ran the one wire to the right there, you see is the camera wire. The one he was just plugging in before it switched over was the power wire. Um, he ran that one wire to the right all the way up and around the, um, the interior, down through the back, down you know by the doorway, down through the back, down by the subwoofer over here. Now what he's doing is he is um, about to get ready to set up the lines when you put the um, Jeep in reverse. Um, you'll see the lines and it'll give you the, um, you know, the distance and all that good stuff. Um, so he took out the rail, the, sorry, the rear tail light and he's working in that area right now. Um, he also took out the um, little panel that's right where the um, tailgate, you see that, the tailgate table that's actually broken, which I need to fix. <laughs> um, he um, it took that out to run those wires through there nice and clean and um, that's what he's doing now. Here you'll see the other side of it where he took the tail light off and where the um, rear delete is off and where the wire is going through that uh, little air damp, whatever it's called, I'm not sure. But he will be running it through there, setting up the camera, and the wires were put in the fuse box by the driver's side. All right. So we ended up mounting it there. I think what I'm gonna do with that bracket is probably put it behind the license plate. And put it maybe just a little bit lower, maybe like right there, just underneath that one. So I'll put that bracket, flip it, put it underneath, and flip the camera. But that's where we ended up having to mount it because the bracket, like I said, wasn't gonna fit that one part. But that's it, and it's nice and clean. Look at here, look at, put it all set, put it all nice. Has a nice um, wiring there, all set up. Beautiful, put it all back together, nice for us. And now let's look at the inside. All right, there it is. It's not too big, not bad at all. If you see, there's the front mirror. And it's not too terribly big. There's all the connections on top there. And they connect it through, you see, put it through there. So not too, too bad. And it's not obstructing too, too much. Perfect, if you can see now, I can see actually with the mirror off. 
when I turn the Jeep on. Excuse me while I, sorry, while I look for my keys. There we go. Turn the Jeep on. This is what we get. And I have it set to seeing the front end. through, flick through to the left, you get opposites, flick through one more time, you get the front, you flick through one more time, you get the rear. So I'll drive with the rear on, so I'm going to leave it like that, and like you see, you, you have your temperature, I'm sorry, not your temperature, you have your GPS, you have your time and date. And you can see in the corner right over here, it's recording already. So it records in one minute increments, I believe. So we have the front recording and that's about it, guys. So I will run this for a couple weeks, as I said, and then see what um, what it brings. All right, guys, Geronimo, Geronimo Lifestyle. Another mod, first one of the year. And it's a good one. I'm gonna be able to use this for um, some trails and stuff i believe i can use some of the video footage and it'll be pretty neat all right cool so i couldn't resist all night long i was thinking about it and i did not like the way it looked i really did not the way the backup camera was put up on the license plate so what i did was i switched it up this morning in 27 degree weather it took me about 10 minutes just took the plate off the worst part is when you have the um, spare tire delete. You have to take the whole thing off for what I had to do to put the camera and the, remove the bracket, put the back bracket underneath the license plate because there's screws that hold the license plate. But anyway, with that said, here we go. Here's a look. So much cleaner, I think, than the way it looked before. See? Back there, you can see, I don't know if I can show you, but right back there, maybe I can show you. I don't know if my camera will let me get in there, maybe not. You can see a reflection of it. But behind, there's th these screws. There's a little um, nut that's back there. So I had to take this off, and in order to take this off, you have to take this off in order to take this off you have to take this off so i have to take this off to take this off to take the plate off to take this bracket flip it upside down put it underneath the license plate now and this is what we got really nice right you can't even tell it's there unless you come up and look at it and all i had to do in the in the um wolf box was just flip the um, camera, the rear camera, there's an option to flip it in case you wanted to mount it upside down, which I guess this is upside down, which to me seems like it's upside, right side up, but whatever, anyway. Well, I'm happy I did that because I really, really was just contemplating on, it was bothering me, so now I feel so much better. And it wasn't that bad, just, uh, what was it, 150 to put it in? Took about two and a half, almost three hours for them to do it. Probably would have been quicker, but he was really, really meticulous in putting all the cables and everything like that. Um, didn't take the top off, which you could have taken the front front panels off. It would have been easier to snake everything through, but he did a great, great job. All right, on to the next adventure. Hey everybody, thank you very much. Geronimo here at Geronimo Lifestyle again for supporting me on my Jeep adventures and hopefully you guys can keep coming and enjoying my adventures. See you soon. Peace.